Welcome to Ada's Reading Corner. Hi, I'm Ada, your storyteller. Let's share the joy of reading and embrace the power of imagination, one enchanting story at a time. So visit with me on my YouTube channel and let the magic begin. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for notifications of new stories. A Giant Crush, written by Jennifer Hodinko. My best friend Jackson has been making valentines all day long. Who's the special valentine for, Jackson, I ask. It's not special, Cooper, Jackson says. Really, I say. How come it's so full of chocolate kisses you can barely close it? Jackson doesn't answer me. On Monday, Jackson comes to school with a giant yellow flower. By show and tell time, the flower is gone. At recess, Carter Corey steals the ball from Jackson and dribbles down to Cammie. He swipes Cammie's scarf and stuffs it in his pocket. Jackson gets the ball back, but all the girls are chasing Corey Carter. No one is playing soccer anymore. Carter and Cammie sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, all the girls sang. The next day, Jackson has chocolate hearts in his lunch. I'm hoping he'll give me some, but when we get to the cafeteria, they're gone. What happened to the candy, Jackson? Jackson's cheeks flushed red as a wrong answer pencil. After school, Jackson watches the girls play soccer. Carter Corey comes over. He climbs the fence and shouts, Look at me! I'm even bigger than Jackson! I'm a giant! Fee, fi, fo, fum. All the girls laugh and Jackson turns red again. On the way home, Jackson drags his backpack, bumpity bump along the pavement. What's the matter, Jackson? Carter Corey likes Cammy, Jackson whispered. Does she know who the flower's from? Jackson shakes his head. Does she know who the candy's from? Jackson puckers his lips out. How's she supposed to know you like her? Jackson's face crumbles up. I would know if she liked me, he whispered. If you're going to like a girl, Jackson, you have to at least tell her. Jackson kicks a can bangity bang down the sidewalk. What if she doesn't like me? Why wouldn't she like you? Jackson's eyes are fixed on the ground because I'm a giant, Cooper. Yeah, so is she too tiny for you? Of course not. She's perfect. Perfect in every way. Finally, Valentine's Day is here. Right before recess, Mrs. Mosscrop delivers the Valentines. She puts Jackson's Valentine on Cammie's desk. Cammie has a boyfriend. Cammie has a boyfriend. The girls all chant. Jackson's head sinks low. Just then the bell rings. Cammie shoves back her chair. It clatters to the ground. Does anyone want to play soccer? She asks, her face as pink as the valentine heart. I give Jackson a shove. He takes a wobbly step forward and knocks his chair over too. All the girls giggle. Jackson and Cammie play two-person soccer all recess long. At the end of the day, we race to the cubbies. When Cammie grabs her book, it falls open. Pressed between the pages is a big yellow flower. Who gave you that? Carter Corey wants to know. Cammie's face turns pink all over again. Carter looks from Cammie to Jackson and back again. It was Jackson. A giant is your boyfriend. I do not have a boyfriend, Carter Corey, Cammie tells him. But if I did have a boyfriend, he would be totally giant. Cammy likes you, I whisper to Jackson. Jackson throws his backpack in the air. Yes, she does, Coop. Yes, she does. Friends don't let friends give up on love. The end of the giant crush. Thanks for listening. And if you enjoyed the story, then go ahead and hit that like button for me. And subscribe to my channel for notification of new stories.